Wow, you guys, I made it. I am officially in Los Angeles. Okay, first off, let's talk about what am I doing in Los Angeles? Why do I look like this? Why am I so tired? I have been moving and grooving all day long. I finally made it to Los Angeles. It's almost nine o'clock at night here. Wait, is it almost eight? No, it's almost nine o'clock at night. Um, My flight got delayed. I was sitting in Dallas forever. I came to Los Angeles to be on Dr. Daff's show. Really, it's Dr. Michelle Daff, but uh, she has an actual show so that's the Dr. Daff show. And she reached out to me some months ago, like at the beginning of the year, and she was just like, I'd love to have you on my show. So I was like, okay, we were gonna do it virtual, but I was like, no girl, I'm coming, okay? So we set that all up, we got everything together, and here I am, and tomorrow I actually interview on her podcast, we do a sit down talk, on her podcast here in Los Angeles, California for her show. So I'll make sure I link all her information down in the description box below so y'all can check that out. Um, some of y'all already know about her because she actually said many of you guys who watch her show requested I be, some, be a guest. So shout out to my lovely subscribers, okay? We here, okay, we, we here. Anyways, so yeah, so that is why I'm here in Los Angeles and I'm actually so excited. And I'm gonna give you a hotel tour, but before, every time before I get comfortable in a hotel, I always have to pray over my hotel. Um, if you watch me travel vlog before, you always know I pray over my hotel. I don't really get all spiritual, like, oh, I'm about to, you know, come and anoint this place. But just the thing is I pray over it because I know when I'm in a hotel room, I just want to make sure I get good sleep. I ain't going, I ain't battling nothing. And I can just, whatever was here before, whatever people was operating in before, I just go ahead and put it under a whole new authority so I can have good rest, good sleep, and I can do good for me, okay? Thank you for just guiding me and protecting me on my travel journey, Lord. I just pray that if there was anything operating in this room before, I put this room under the authority of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Right now, Lord, I pray your blessings in this room. Guys, this is what I was looking like at the airport, just scruffy and a mess. But I did end up getting some food. I actually was gonna go get food downstairs, but it was like these big entrees that I just wasn't in the mood for no hors d'oeuvres type of vibe. Like, I want some fast food, okay? I'm a country girl. Just give me some fast food. Let me eat, let me shower, let me go to bed, okay? So anyways, I just decided to do Uber Eats, so my food should be here in about 20 minutes. So I decided to come back upstairs. Oops. And use... <laughs> and use this time wisely to unpack because it's like... Why not why sit down there for 20 minutes scrolling on your phone, struggling to not fall asleep? Why not just unpack? for dinner tonight i needed something quick something fast it literally only caught i've never used uber eats and i just used it tonight and for my order that was over 25 dollars they took 25 off so i only owed like nine dollars it's a good deal for a first night's meal and it only it literally didn't even take 30 minutes to get here <laughs> you got it. okay this is the last little clip of the night. I actually was getting ready to take a shower and everything and realized I could not find my phone's charger. I must have left it in my car. I swear I grabbed it, but maybe I dropped it at the airport. I don't know. So I had to get on Uber Eats and go order them to bring me a charger. I just paid $30, $32 for a Ten fifty for twenty fifteen dollar charger, but the extra was to get it delivered to me. But I need my phone because tomorrow I need my Uber app to get to where I need to go. I need all the information, safety purposes. Like I have to get a charger, and this uh, hotel doesn't have like a store in it or anything like a little convenience spot. 
and it's kind of a distance from me and so thank god for uber eats because they get anything you need <music> on and I came across this video do y'all remember me doing this video this was right after I left my office this was in October I, was, I recorded this in December for vlogmas but the story I'm talking about is based in October when I finally packed up my office November y'all that video was one of the hardest videos I shoot because I was talking about transitioning and how it was one of the hardest decisions of my life and now I'm laying here in Los Angeles <laughs> with that office and with everything that God told me in that season, but also like, here, stop being a new thing. Ooh, honestly, I think I'm a little jet lagged. Like I'm literally tired and I can't get moving yet, but I'm so sleep. So I'm wondering if I could pull in like another 30 minute sleep time before I get up and get into all my festivities because I'm so tired. Oh. Okay, you guys, good morning. Oh my gosh, I just realized how dirty this camera is. You can see all this splats probably from all kinds of stuff I've been doing. Hey, you guys, okay, it is the morning time here. And real quick, while I'm in this beautiful bathroom, I was like, why don't I go ahead and do my morning skincare travel, okay? Literally doing my travel skincare. And I even brought my tripod that you can connect to the mirror don't hopefully i didn't lose it cannot find it anywhere so i was like you know what that is just life these days so last night i braided my hair before i went to bed and i missed an entire chunk i was too lazy to put that back in there so that's usually what i do i usually sleep with like a like a silky ponytail so i'm going to just put this into a silky one like this and now it's time to do some skin care Okay, and you guys know I'm, I've been talking about my skin a lot, but my skin still isn't perfect. So I still have the, I have some pimple patches on right now that I'm going to go ahead and take off. And these nails are not helping me. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah, like, look at that. Ew. Okay, so we're taking this one off. Pimple patches, um, a lot of people use them these days. I've been using them and I noticed that it's kind of gross. So that's where I start first. Since this is a travel skincare, I'm going to show you guys. I had the little travel size Cetaphil. Use the little travel size all the time. So I'm going to start with that first and just use a lot of Cetaphil on my face. To me, I like this because it's super gentle and I use a lot of acne medication. <music> I'm so glad I came and checked email because I got an email from Dr. Michelle. She was like, so ready to see you at 1230. I'm over here like, I thought we were meeting at 230. I realized that when they sent me the invite, it converted it to my time zone as if I was still in Oklahoma. So I'm thinking at 230, I will be on the call with her or meeting her. It's 1230. I'm so glad I came and checked my email. 
and all of that and right now there's a sale going on in my mentorship and so if you've never joined my mentorship check my mentorship out the link is in the description box um, I mentor a lot of ladies in helping them build their very own stuff and um, so today is the like last few days of our sale going on and since you're watching this I'm still going to leave that link sale at the bottom of this video just in case you want to get on that sale but this is the last few days of the sale at this time that we're doing it um but you have that link okay but anyway so um i was like let me go on here and make sure everything is scheduled and everything is going out the way it needs to we're approving people in the group and everything as they show up and all of that and so that's kind of what i'm over here doing and i'm like yeah let me check that email so glad i checked that email lord have mercy am i glad i checked that email crazy 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 Okay, the face mask I took off because I had to go take some quick photos. Ooh, that was sticky. I kind of kept these on a little longer. Next, I am going to throw on this thing. This is the same face mask pack, but it's a two-in-one. And so at the top, this was where the face mask was. I already used that. But the top has all that serum -y stuff in it. And so I'm actually going to use some of that to do my gua sha. Things are moving all right along, but I need to really get my, at least those things done. So that I can focus on my hair and my outfit and then my makeup. So there is a method to all of this madness. So I can't forget the next. I'm in here getting all of this out. I actually love this face mask because it's a mask sheet and then it comes with the the extra stuff. So if you want to do a gua sha facial, you can do one. Cuz you have all the silky 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 stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this probably for the next 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to just gua sha on my face a little bit. All it does is give you a natural facelift. Like it just gives you a natural facelift just to make everything look a little better. Uh -huh. And also too, I'm so bright that everything turns me red, but it won't, it'll go away just a little bit. So I'm going to go grab my phone. I'm probably going to put on some good jams, make out, look at my list of everything I got to do today before I go. Oh, this feels good on the neck though. Yes, come on neck. Come on so that's what I do with my gua sha facial. Some people go all over their face over and over. I like working in sections just because so I don't miss anything. I just like working in sections. So I'm just focusing on this side of the neck. But look how red it's turning me. I swear it doesn't hurt. It just, you just rub something long enough it gets red. Is she blushing? <laughs> Or is she just gua sha facialing? I'm blushing right now. Okay, you guys, I'm ready. Look at my hotel room. Got crazy, okay? It got crazy, but it's time for me to go. Let me show you my outfit. Okay. So I realized I look like I'm dressed for winter. I have this on, a blazer. Everyone else looks like, you know, it's kind of cool here, but they're not that coolly dressed. Like they're still in like, comfortable clothes you know but anyways obviously I'm right here at a local cafe before I go to this little thing I had a little bit of time and this was actually right beside it so it was so convenient um, it is a little cafe so I got a smoothie and a little coffee cake I'm gonna munch on not gonna do too much though because I did bring some lip stuff though in case my lips get messed up something to drink though I'm really thirsty actually and then I think once the interview and stuff is done I'm probably gonna go get food or something I'm looking for tacos though I want tacos so bad. I'm going to try to find the local taco area. But I actually am on Hollywood Boulevard right here. Like, literally, I just kind of drove down the strip in my Uber. and seen, I've been here a few times. But it's such a beautiful day. It makes me so happy to be here. I'm doing this. We about to have a whole setup, okay? I'm doing this. So funny. Hey you guys, 
I am with Dr. Michelle. <laughs> we just had a great Uber ride and we're about to get some tacos. Happy and tacos. Yeah, yes. she brought Happy me way. back out to the city. That's right. Some pink girls today. We're pink girls. Okay. Love pink. Let's do this.